Valentine's Day tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be doing a really winged eyeliner with lashes so it's going to be really focusing on the upper lash line and then a bright bold lip. So I'm going to be showing you how to get kissable bright lips for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be using the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Lovesick. These come in a ton of great colors and these are awesome because they stain your lips but they're still moisturizing and give a nice shine really good color payoff and they last like all day so once the color sets it lasts and they're not drying and they come in a bunch of colors and they all have really cute Valentine's Day inspired names like this one's lovesick they have cherish and um, romantic so there's a bunch of cute colors so you can do any bright look that you want with this look and I love this look I think it's very Katy Perry when she does wing liner and bright red lips um, or a bright pink lip so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you want to see step by step how to get it then just keep watching Okay, so I'm just going to start off by priming my eyes with a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm going to be taking the color Walk of Shame, which is a matte pinky cream color, and I'm just going to be putting this all over my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone to work as a nice light base color. Then I'm going in with Naked 2, which is a light tan color, and I'm going to be using this on a fluffy brush and just blending this kind of through my crease to work as a nice transition color. Next I'm taking the color Faint, which is a darker brown, and I'm just going to be using this on a smaller crease brush. So I'm just going to be swirling this on my outer corner just to add a little bit more definition. And then I'm just going to take what's ever left over and drag this into my crease just to define my crease a little bit more. Then I'm taking the shimmery white color called Venus and since the rest of the look is matte this is just going to add a nice brightness. So I'm going to put this on the inner corners and then I'm also going to put just a tiny bit underneath the arch of my brow. Okay now for the fun part I'm going to be using my Jordana Fabi Liner and we're going to start creating a winged eyeliner. So I'm going to first start off by just drawing a regular line on my upper lash line like I normally would. And then when I get to the outer corner, I'm gonna start extending the line from the corner of my eye up towards my eyebrow so I get a really thin line and you can make it however long you want. Then I'm just gonna connect it back towards the eyeliner on my upper lash line and just fill in the little triangle and that's the easiest way to create a really bold winged eyeliner. Then I'm just gonna add a quick coat of mascara before I put on my false lashes. I'm gonna be adding a very natural looking pair of eyelashes from Sonia Kashuk. So first I'm gonna put a little bit of duo glue on the back of the eyelashes, and then using my tweezers, I'm gonna be placing these as close to my lash line as possible. Then I'm just gonna be securing down each edge. I love these eyelashes because they look really natural, but they just add the right amount of volume and a little bit of length, but no one's gonna be able to tell that you're wearing them. Okay guys, so here are just a couple of shots of the eyelashes up close so you can see what a difference they make. I absolutely love these and I definitely recommend them. Then I'm just gonna go over the base of the eyelashes with my eyeliner again just to cover up any glue that didn't dry clear. Then I'm going back in with my mascara and putting some on the bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna add one more coat to bond my real lashes to the false lashes just so they look more natural and blend in. Okay guys, so for the lips, which is the focus of this look, and I'm gonna be using the Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in the color Lovesick. And I think these are perfect for Valentine's Day if you wanna do a bright lip. I chose these because they are great and they say kissable balm stain. So they are not gonna come off, they are gonna last and they give you really good color payoff and with a little bit of shine. And all the names are kind of Valentine's inspired, I guess. This one is lovesick, there's one called Adore, there's one called Romantic and Cherish. So they have a lot of bright pinks and reds. So you can kind of use whatever color you want. I'm gonna be going with this one, which is a bright fuchsia pink but any of these are gonna be great because you don't have to touch them up and they're gonna stain your lips, they're gonna last and they're not gonna transfer off onto anything. So this is what it looks like. It just twists up and I'm just gonna be applying that straight out of the tube. They're super easy. So I'm just going to be applying this. So as you can see, 
see that gave awesome color payoff. It gave a really bright pink look with just one product. I didn't have to use lip liner. You could if you wanted to. Um, and I didn't have to use a lip gloss and it gave a really pretty shine. So once the shine wears off, the color stains your lips and it will last all night. So if you want to touch up the shine, you just reapply it and it will add a little bit of moisture back to your lips. But like I said a second ago, these come in a ton of red and berry colors. They come in tons of pink, so you can do whatever bright color you want for Valentine's Day. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the rest of the look. Okay, so for this look, I really wanted to contour my cheekbones. I just think it goes really well with winged eyeliner and bright lips. Um, I don't really want to do a bronzy look at all with this look. I just want to define my cheekbones. So I'm going to be using a matte bronzer. This is my favorite one currently. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm going to be using this Eco Tools blush brush. And I just recently found that this is really good for applying your contour because it's such um, a thin, dense top. So it really gets in your cheekbones really nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to use this and put it in the hollows of my cheekbones. So I'm just going to make a fishy face like this and put it right where that line is. And then what I do to, um, when I really want to focus on my contour, I take what's ever left over on my foundation brush and I just kind of uh, blend the bottom edge and it kind of makes it, it kind of makes it fade out better, but it also makes it more uh, defined at the same time, if that makes sense. It kind of takes away any excess, but it also helps blend it out. So it just kind of makes the line look cleaner and it just makes it look a lot better. So... There's the difference between the contoured side and the uncontoured side. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll be back to show you the blush. Okay, and then for blush, for this look, I'm going to be using my Tarte Blush in Doll Face. It's just a really pretty light baby pink. I don't want to do anything too bright because I have, you know, lashes and a uh, bold lip and really contoured cheeks. So I just want to add a little bit right on the apples just to add a little bit of a nice flush. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of blend it into the contour so there's no line in between them. Okay, then lastly for a highlight, I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This has become one of my new favorite highlighters because I feel like it's no fuss, it goes with everything. I'm just gonna be putting that on the tops of my cheekbones. Just add a nice shimmery glow. And you definitely want to highlight, especially if you contoured, because it's just going to help that contour stand out even more. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit right on my Cupid's bow. Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. This is one of my favorite tutorials that I've filmed in a while. I just love wing liner with bright lips. Like, I love that lashes and lips look. I think it is so classic, and it's really simple to do. You can skip the eyelashes if you want to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.